What's up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dawson's Fish Tank, bringing it to you on a downer note today. Today, we're going to be talking about my top five aquarium fish with the absolute worst lives ever. Look, there's lots of aquarium fish that have miserable lives. These are my top five aquarium fish with the worst lives ever. Glowfish. How did this happen? Mother Nature didn't approve of this. Whoever created this fish should be forced to drink water from the tanks of Deathco if these overstocked fish are kept and sold. This is ridiculous. This fish drives me crazy. Think about it if you had this fish's life. You could never be rested because your entire body is glowing 24-7, 365. Then you live in a tiny overstocked aquarium in Deathco. All of a sudden, some kid comes up and he starts beating on the glass, waiting to pick you out. Then he picks you out, you get stuffed in a bag, you get taken home. What happens? You're put in a tank, guess what the tank has? The tank has pink gravel. Now you're in a tank with pink gravel, you're already eyes hurt, you're never rested. Then you're overfed by the kid who's constantly beating on the glass because you're already on edge because you're never rested because your body is glowing. Glowfish, miserable life. Glowfish, my number five fish with the worst life ever. My number four aquarium fish with the most miserable life ever. We're going from a tiny glowing fish to a monster fish. We're going to the old dirty bastard of aquarium fish because there's no father to his style. We're talking about Oscar fish. Now look, I'm not saying there aren't people that aren't keeping Oscars properly, but they are probably few and far between and usually what ends up with the demise of this wonderful fish. You're an Oscar fish. You're sitting there, you're wagging your tail, you get home, life's pretty good. You get fed all the time. All of a sudden you outgrow a tank. I know a guy who had a 29 gallon tank with two eight inch Oscars in it. Way overstocked. You get treated like a king for a while. Not really. If you're lucky, you get fed pellets. But let's be honest, people who buy Oscars generally buy them to keep them and watch them eat other fish. So you get fed feeder fish all the time. You know how disease ridden the feeder fish probably are? Life is good until Johnny Random Fish Tank Punk leaves and goes off to college and he leaves you at home with his parents. His parents don't know what to do with you. They're A, take him back to the pet store, or B, and probably worse yet, they bring him down to Johnny Random Fish Tank Punk down in college, where you're forced to live in an aquarium that periodically gets beer spilled in it until your ultimate demise when a cigarette butt is put out in your aquarium. Oscar Fish, my number four fish with the most miserable fish tank life ever. My number three fish with the worst aquarium life ever. I'm talking about the Paku. That's right. Think about it. Paku have a miserable existence. They grow up their entire lives in the shadow of their other sweet predator cousin that eats meat. Only they don't eat meat. They have the same life as an Oscar. They don't hunt. They just eat vegetables. They sit and grow and grow and grow and grow and grow until finally one day they're too big for their tank where they either die from too much waste in their tank or worse, they're sent to the zoo where they're forced to sit around all day and listen to other monster fish that return to the zoo talk about their glory days in the past. Paku. I feel sorry for this fish. They shouldn't be sold in the hobby. Paku, my number three fish with the worst life ever. My number two aquarium fish with the worst life ever. We're talking about the bubble-eyed goldfish. Who bred this fish? How did this happen? This fish is a real life example of something based on the creepy doctor from South Park that made a bunch of different animals with four asses. Only it's worse than that because these things don't look like behinds. Look, you're this fish. You can never see any direction but up. You're always trying to swim around, but you're immediately slowed down by these big giant sacks hanging off of the front of your face or hampered on either side of your head. Instead, you swim around in fear of one of your sacks getting sucked into the filter, bringing you to your ultimate demise. Forget the bubbles for a second, okay? Imagine how funky your long-term existence is with this kind of genetic makeup. Have you ever seen these fish swim? Half of them can't even swim in a straight line. They keep floating up to the top. You spend your entire life swimming around in fear of popping one of these liquid nuts looking sacks attached to your face. Bubble-eyed goldfish, oh my lord. My number two fish with the most miserable life ever. And my number one fish with absolutely the worst aquarium fish life ever, it's gotta be the feeder goldfish, hands down. Born without any hope of growing over an inch long, you're stuffed in overcrowded conditions where you look over and you see your buddy Frank who dies from God knows what, sucked into the filter. Every now and then a fat freckle fish tank freak kid walks past you with a container of food, but he never bothers throwing it in your tank. One day he scoops up 50 of you and your friends to some freak who hops out in a service wagon and takes you, and periodically you get put in a tiny little bowl where you get a little bit of solitude for just a second until all of a sudden you're getting ping pong balls belted at you. One day you get lucky and a ping pong ball hits you on the top of the dorsal fin you get taken home with some kid who puts you in a tiny little fish bowl. Only this kid doesn't know how to take care of fish and he never changes the water but feeds you three times a day because fish need to be fed three times a day because humans eat three times a day, right? All of a sudden you end up dying in your own waste. Feeder goldfish by far and away have the worst life of any fish ever. Feeder goldfish, my number one fish with the worst life ever. And those are my top five fish with the worst lives ever. Do me a favor, folks. Let me know what you think what fish have the worst lives ever. Maybe I'm missing some fish. I don't know. Drop me a comment on what you think about these. I had fun making this video. Uh, also, not every fish has the worst life ever. Check out this random comet goldfish that I have. A little 15-cent feeder fish that lives with my koi because I can't get them out of the pond. 
Stay tuned for an awesome fish room coming up. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe and tank on everybody. Later.